Hey guys, good morning. Right? 11.31, it's still morning, it's okay. I tried something different with my hair today. My breakfast. Mm. Breakfast of champions. Whew. Not really. Don't don't do that. It's a... Look what we got. Ulta. Ulta. They all have stickers. Never mind. So, uh, was it Walmart box? I keep remember. I think it was the Walmart box for the fall. Yes, I got, everybody got, um, one of the products in there. It turned out to be super awesome. And I did my research, and Ulta was the cheapest place I could find it. So I ordered a full size of it. It is awesome. All right, hold on, let me do this. I just want to show you all my address. I'm sorry. I love you, but mm, no. no. Get rid of those before the kid and or cats get to it. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. All right. Let me see. Let me get the. Oh, okay. There. All right. Put those back in there. We can go ahead and close this up. So, the original product I was going after. was the Flake Away Soap and Glory Body Scrub Body Polish. Body Polish. I got a little sample of this in the Walmart Beauty Box for the fall. And oh my gosh. At first, I just let it sit there on the, the bathroom counter. I was like, eh, whatever. And then I was like, you know what, I really do, I mean, I really need to try this stuff, okay? I tried it the one time. It was after I was swimming. I had been swimming for a while. My body gets dry, excuse me, my body gets dried out. I used this stuff. OMG. Not only does it work, but it smells amazing. I just, oh, I can't get over it. And it's got, it's very light scrubbies in there. I mean, you don't want to scrub too hard because there is a little scrubbies in there. But the oils that are left on your skin after, and I'm not talking like it's, it's not an oil slick, but it leaves your skin feeling so soft and just hydrated and just, oh. Yum, and it just it works beautifully. Okay, so then I kept looking and I saw this. This is the the righteous butter. It's a body butter. It's a moisturizer. There's what the lid lid looks like, and there's the side. So that's it right there. So now it says that it's supposed to, oh, wow. Oh yeah. Oh man, that smells good. So it's definitely white and y'all, it is like full to the brim. Like this entire thing is full. And it smells just like this one here. Oh, I'm gonna try some cause my hands and it's nice and thick, but not too thick. 
Oh yeah. My hands are super dried out. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, and the smell. I can't get over it. So, I went to a couple of different websites. Walmart, they wanted... $20 for this item. I went to Ulta and it was only 15 So I'm not exactly sure why there's such a price difference. But depending on where you go will depend on how much you guys pay. Which I think is strange. But if you go to Ulta's website, they're each... Now, this is where I really got lucky. It just so happened to be they were on sale. Buy one, get 150% off. So that's why I got both of them. But generally, they're both the same price. So, buy one, get one half off. I took, I, I jumped at that one. Oh, that's nice. Oh my gosh, that smells so good, you guys. Oh, yeah. That's going to be fun. I got to go take a shower. <laughs> so I can do my little scrubby scrubby. And it'll be nice because I do swim so much. And I do all my exercises in the pool. So between the chlorine. And then coming home and taking a shower. This is going to be a huge help. And then I'll follow it up with this guy right after. So because my poor skin is like just dying for thirst even though I'm in the water all the time it's just not the right kind of water mm. alright you guys that's it that's all we got today I'm still waiting for my Fab Fit Fun box it should be here soon actually I think it said Thursday with this winter storm that we've got going, it's kind of holding everything up. So, bugger. I have a couple of other things that I'm waiting for, but I'll tell you guys when I get it. That's another subscription that I've never tried before, but I kind of like, eh, I'm going to play with it and see how it works. So, all right. I will hop on again if any well actually i'm gonna figure out what to make for dinner and we'll probably probably add in a couple more clips of something else just to make this a good sized vlog for you all so okay until later bye okay so i am going to stand like that so i am making my first time ever cauliflower flour crusted pizza. It's a roasted vegetable. So I am going to add some chicken, already cooked chicken breast. It's the rotisserie one that I got from Costco. Hold on and I'll turn you guys around. There it is. That's the one from Costco. You get two in a packet. And as you can see, I already put some chicken on it. This is just the rotisserie chicken that I got from Costco which is zero carbs. And I'm gonna throw a little bit more cheese on the pizza, which is also a zero carb, but it's gonna help the chicken stay down. Hello. Yeah. So um, the carb count on this. Wah! Okay. Um, is 27 carbs for one fourth of this pizza. So I'm gonna cut it in half and then cut it in half again. So that one fourth. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it. I know that came out, but you know, so one fourth of this pizza is going to be the 27 carbs. You should put like a so lot more. So if I have the whole one fourth, so that's 27 carbs and then five carbs for my salad. So I'm gonna be a little over 30, but not too bad. Whoop. 
So the deal is, is that I'm supposed to put the just the pizza itself in on the grate. I'm, I'm not supposed to use the cardboard. I'm not supposed to use the, the pan just by itself in frozen, which it is now. I already have the oven. Kate, can you help me? Preheated. Hang on one second. Caitlin's going to help me. I need to take the camera. Oh, okay. Christmas. Oh, we're still rolling. Yes, we are. Oh, I knew that. A smart one. Please. A little bit more cheese. A little bit Just more. To help. A little bit more. With the chicken. Make sure it stays on there. Yeah. You're completely missing the side over here. Over here? Yeah. Okay, that should be. I mean, there's like no cheese on there. Well, it's fine. Just get some more cheese on there. It's fine. So what I am going to do, because I don't want stuff at the bottom of my oven, is I'm going to take this pan that I use for cheese pans. I'm going to get that cheese off of there. put that right under. So now per the instructions, this pizza is going to go right on top of the grate. Um, that's what it said for 15 minutes. That's what it says on the pan. So 15 minutes. You. That's what it says on the box. Okay. Look, right here. Remove un over wrap and cardboard and place pizza directly on center oven rack. Hmm. For best results, cook pizza from frozen and do not use baking sheet. Okay. 12 to 15 minutes or until che or cheese is golden brown. Okay. So, let's do less than that. We'll do 11, we'll do 10 minutes. Okay. So, now, what? over here. Okay, but eat. Uh. All right, just, just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with her. Okay, so now, we just have to wait. I don't, I've never had this before. I don't know what it tastes like. We're gonna find out together. Yeah. But I, after dinner, after I eat, there's something I want to show you guys because I want to go play with it. Um, I got myself a special treat that I'm telling you, I've been wanting for a while, but I wasn't going to pay a hundred and something dollars to get it. hundred and something dollars for what? hundred and something dollars for that thing that I just got. Oh. So, um. talking about the pizza. No. So. I will show you what it is after I eat. Oh, I gotta get my salad. No, no, no. I don't need you to film my salad. They've seen my salads before. Mm -hmm. So I'll be back as soon as the pizza is done, okay? Okay, hang on. Actually, is it done? Uh, I think we're gonna do a few more minutes, come to think of it. I know it's gonna pull it, but. We'll do a few more minutes. Are you recording? Yes. Okay, so that whole thing that you just did over there? No. Okay. I just hit the button. Okay. It looks a bit overdone. It really doesn't, though. It's a bit crispy. Well, that's how I like it, though. It's pizza. It's supposed to be crispy. Especially given the fact that it's a cauliflower crust. Yeah, but that's not pizza. That's just stuff that you would put on a pizza on a bunch of cauliflower. It's an alternative, Kate. <coughs> <coughs> Ow. Okay. Alright. It's definitely solid. It's not going to fall apart. It's 
So now we just need to cut it in half. It's more or less a half. Yeah, that's good enough. Oh no, that was just. Was it bad? Oh yeah, that oh. second cut was. Well, sh yikes. Really? That's yeah, cause this oh, this side is yeah. way bigger than this side. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess it is. It's noticeable. Well, you know what? You tried. That's that's you tried. Okay, so I am gonna take. Cause that's too big. So let's go, this look like pizza slices. So you let's go for it. The flavor. So here we go. Cauliflower crust. Hot is it? What do you think? Tastes like pizza crust. I mean, it's not thick and fluffy. Then it's not pizza crust. But I don't really like thick and fluffy. I always get the thin crust. Betrayal. Mm -hmm. I like that. And I like the roasted vegetables. Well, you might want to like it faster because you're at 15%. Oh, okay. Give this video a thumbs up cauliflower crust it gets two thumbs up from me but you know what let's do this what ah take a bite oh, no, no, no. take a bite i want your honest opinion just take a bite honestly can you tell that that's even cauliflower no, but I can tell it's not normal pizza crust. But you can't. But it's not bad. I would eat it if I have if I had to. Why do you gotta be so difficult? I'm not being difficult. You want it the truth. I would eat it if I had to. I like it. It's good, and I'm the one eating it. So there you go. Well, there. 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 All right. I will see you guys in a little bit after I eat. Um, I'm gonna put my pizza, cause this is one serving that's in my hand. I will show you my plate real quick before I lose my battery. Hang on one sec. Oh, there she is. So this is one serving. So these two pieces is one serving. And so then I have the other three servings over there that I'll wrap up, that I'll wrap up and save for lunch tomorrow and for whenever else. So, see you guys in a little bit. This is what I got. I have been wanting an actual Clarisonic. These things are like 150 bucks. I don't have that kind of money for a Clarisonic. It's $120. Okay, whatever. Caitlin swears up and it's over $100. So, um, I got it from the one of the um, buy sell trade groups here in our town college student didn't want it it didn't work for her whatever reason and I got it for $15 so I cleaned it out really well I'm going to put it back together so and you saved $105 I saved a butt ton of money you saved $105 I, I am too cheap I will try and find it, I will watch it, and I will just see what happens. And for some reason, nobody snagged it up. It was up there for like a month, and I got her down on the price. Originally, it was up there for 30 She dropped it to 20 I kept a watch on it. I want to feel how soft it is. Okay. I kept a, an eye on it. And I asked her if she'd take 10. She said no. I didn't say anything. And then she responded and dropped it to 15. So I got myself a Clarisonic M. Mia. A Clarisonic Mia, the original. 
and I am so excited. Oh, sorry, go ahead. And I am super excited. So it seems, okay, so I did watch some YouTube videos on this. And it says, do not use a face cleanser that has the little beads in it. Like that. Like the um, Pretty stuff. much all the face cleansers that I have have little beads in them. Except this one, which came out of... Target box, I think? Yeah, I think it was the Target beauty box. Might have been your Walmart. I honestly don't remember. I think it was the Target. It's the La Roque, uh Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. So that's what I'm going to use. So I just put it back together. I did clean everything with um, rubbing alcohol really, really good. So I'm just going to wet my face. Just like that. And then we're going to put the Lorac on. I'm going to rub that in really good. And then some of the ladies that I was watching on YouTube that does this. Oh, and another good thing about this Clarisonic is that it is waterproof. You can take this in the shower. You put a little bit of the cream or gel onto the Clarisonic. A gel, for example, would be something like this. Yeah. Okay, and now all we do... is super lightly, just very gently... Hold on. Oh my lord. Hold on. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> okay, let me move my hair out of the way. Because yeah, I thought it was like supposed to visually spin. Oh. And it does have a one minute timer. So you just have to turn it back on. That is a really annoying sound. Well, that's what they sound like, though. There's nothing I can do about it. But yeah, from here, it doesn't look like it's actually doing anything. You see what I mean? Oh, in here it is. Let me show you. This here. It's vibrating, but it's not spinning. Uh -oh. What are you feeling it for? No, this is spinning. See it right here. It's just vibrating. Okay. At any rate, so now I'm just going to run this through real quick. And go ahead and pause it real quick. Hey guys, okay, so I am just taking off the skincare. The face wash. I washed off my Clarisonic really, really good. And now I'm going to do my face. Oh, it's doing it again. What? The camera. What? This. Doing the weird thing. Did it stop? No. It's Is just it? being glitchy. Hopefully that doesn't show up in the video. Okay, I think 
میتسه So we will keep track of it and see how it works. I'm going to do some more research on line because apparently I don't know. But anyways, so that's her and I am super excited that I finally got one. You know what it might be? What? It might just be that specific one. Like it was the, one of the other ones that's supposed to spin. That one's actually supposed to do that. Yeah, because there's only one speed on this one. Oh, yeah, and the other ones have multiple speeds, don't they? Yeah. Okay, then yeah, that's probably what it is. I was just thinking that it was going to be like the other ones. Because the other ones are multiple speeds. And they have... Yeah, I don't... I think this... Yeah, that's Maybe. what it's supposed to do. Yeah. So yeah, I must just... But I am going to look at getting maybe a different head for it because this one's super soft. I want something that scrubs my face. So I think I am going to get... I'm going to take this off Let to dry. air dry. Yeah. Whoop, your arm was in the camera. Oh, sorry. And I'll just put that right there so that air dries as well. So that is it. Feels good. And clearly I have to go find a cleanser that does not have the little beads in it. Because <laughs> oh, apparently I, I only have one and it's a little sample. But the ones with the little beads are the best. So, alright y'all. That is it. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Wait for the little bell next to the big block that says, the big red block that says subscribe. Hit that, wait for the bell, ding, click the bell. I know that was really confusing. Anyways, okay, I will see y'all later. Bye!